Okay, we were honored and very happy to have been in St. Vincent these last couple of days for the launch of the Caribbean Foundation for the Development of the Foundation for the Development of Caribbean Children. Uh, it has been quite an experience interfacing with policy makers from all across the Caribbean, from both the health as well as the education sector. Um, our interaction with them today give us a great deal of confidence in the potential of the foundation to address the needs of the sector and to proceed with efforts at collaboration, stronger institution capacity building and collaboration with other stakeholders in the field of early childhood education. Yeah. So Dilakas Jewels. Lisa Jordan, Executive Director of the Bernard Van Leer Foundation. And the Bernard Van Leer Foundation has been engaged in this region for at least 40 years. And the last 10 have been particularly fruitful, where we've had the opportunity to work with the little sister, if you will, of the FDCC, that's the, the CCSI and watch the FTCC come into fruition over the last few days with an outstanding board, deep commitment uh, here in St. Vincent and we know in other uh, Eastern Caribbean nations as well, to the youngest citizens of the region. And it's exactly that deep commitment that we had hoped that our investment over the last 10 years would be able to foster and nurture and uh, lubricate so that folks like the good doctor and the rest of the members of the board of FTCC will be able to take the 10,000 children that CCSI has been able to reach and reach at least uh, 30,000 or more. Now, first question I'd like to ask is, you've chosen the range of zero to three. Why? And what is going to be the major focus in, in, in seeking to achieve whatever the objective is, and you could probably tell us the objective. Okay, well, zero to three is our priority. Zero to three is our priority age, age range, but we're actually looking at the entire range for early childhood, so we're talking zero to five. But the reason for the zero to three is that it is a totally underserved sector of the early childhood range. Um, and importantly, the latest research, and that was presented extensively at the conference in the last couple of days, the latest brain, research, brain development research shows the absolute importance of that period from birth to three years in the development of the child. The research shows with empirical and scientific rigor that that is a period when a lot of the physical development of the brain takes place. You have neurons which are actually creating synapses and multiplying at a rate that is exponentially related to the degree of stimulation that the child receives. So as you know, many, for many of us, our traditional child rearing practices assumes that babies can't learn, right? That you only reach, a, you know, when you reach five and you enter preschool is when you start to learn. Well, what the research is showing is that that is completely a false assumption and that in fact we need to maximize the stimulation that takes place from birth to three in particular. Um, now the upstream effect of that is very wide ranging because if you think about it, if that period of your life is a period in which the optimal development of your brain takes place, it means if we ignore that period and then we focus on the later period then everything we do is a catch-up effort. It's remedial in, the, in, in essence. And we do not rec realize the true potential of the individual. So it's going to be a big paradigm shift for us in the Caribbean, but it is one that if we're able to successfully undertake it, we will see a huge leap in learning outcomes in the region, in character formation, 
in the type of Caribbean person who is evolved through this process. Interesting you take that approach because I don't know because I just wanted to say that um, zero to three, two reasons. There's the economic argument. This is the most efficient and the most effective intervention that a government can make or the private sector can make or any society can make is right at this moment. It's very efficient. It's cost effective. And we know that from research that's coming from a Nobel Prize economics winner, uh, economics winner James Heckman. Everything else is remedial. Everything else. So start at the base. Second thing is, as the doctor said, we are looking at 700 neural connections per second in a baby's brain. 700 neural connections a second. And if you don't use them, you lose them. So that's why it's so important to be investing in these children right at birth. I think that is absolutely stunning. The approach to kindergarten in the region is one that I suspect from what you've just said 